we 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 need to uh get over this whole any of PBC's major assets going over to help the zone unless it's a major you know you've got a question your advisor if he's not advising you to go and take the multi million like Canelo golden ticket or whatever but none of these perceived assets are going over to help the zone no yeah. they want they want a one off for the big money if they can get it and, it. and if you're not offering that then they're not really going to think about it because I think for a lot of these guys on the PPC side, they like having autonomy. They like having some independence from whatever that may be. Um, most of these big fighters are now their own promoters. And I, I can understand why in their minds they're thinking, I value this independence. I might take the short money right now instead of having a three or five fight deal with the zone. But I have independence here and I value that. And as somebody that is a content creator that that went independent, I value that too, and I respect that to a degree. And I also think that the zone and Matchroom and, and Golden Boy have also adjusted accordingly. They understand what Rob just said. There's a reason, like we're gonna get to right now, that Eddie Hearn's sending just a one fight offer to Charlo for an Andrade fight. There's a reason why he is doing that because he understands you can't send a multi fight deal to these PBC guys. Because they don't want to be tied up to a network or a promoter in any way. And I get that. I think he understands that to a degree. And he says, quote, I've made Charlie an offer to fight Andrade two to three times as much as he's ever made. Can't get a reply. You got this guy who works for PBC, Tim Smith, going, quote, I don't know uh, who he's making offers to. End quote. I've got it uh, on my phone talking to him on Instagram. End quote from Eddie Hearn. And like I said earlier, I don't value Instagram conversations when it comes to business. Fucking emails, man. Like, I might be a 24-year-old millennial, but even I understand, like, if it's business and it's, like, serious business, you email, motherfucker. Like, it, it, this is common sense. Uh, but this should be something that they reply back with to some degree. Speaking of Tim Smith, Charlo, and PBC, they can't just scoff at this like they do, and they continue to do. That's upsetting as well because it's a unification. And right now, what else, who else are you going to fight? Charlo? Like, Canelo is not being negotiated with you. Triple G is not negotiating with you. Like, th th there's one other belt you can fight for, and that's the WBO belt. Go fight on Drod. You have hi history. You have beef. Um, Gary just dropped his mic. Thank God he was muted. Holy shit, that would have been loud as hell. Uh, <laughs> but I, I, I think if Charlo and Tim Smith or whoever came out and said, Look, we've we've heard the offer from Eddie Hearn via Instagram. Email us. Email us the the contract, and we'll we'll get back to you. That's an easy reply that still does a little bit of a deflection, but actually is a way to get towards the fight still, and doesn't just scoff at it, put your nose up at it, and act like it doesn't matter. No, it matters, Charlo. It's slim pickings right now for a lot of you middleweights. So take the big fight. And if you can't take the Char the Canelo fight for whatever reason, take the Andrade fight and go take that one off and go steal the zone's money and come back to PBC. It's easy. Just like Ramirez did with Hooker, right? Absolutely. No, Absolutely. No, no shots um, at you, Gary. I'm just saying. <laughs> a lot of shots at Gary. No, nah, it wasn't. Uh, I realized. We, we just are going to beat up Maurice Hooker, too, Gary. Respect. No, nah, Hooker said he's got his number. He reckons he's. Uh, it's Anyways. Easy work. <laughs> Digress. Back to Charlo and Drod, two or three times the the whole Tim Smith Eddie Hearn dynamic. Guys, thoughts on this? I don't know who wants to jump in here. Um, I know you've got this issue with the Instagram stuff. I got no problem with like Eddie reaching out and sort of, uh, I don't know, putting the feelers out, trying to get hold of these fighters. And uh, well, that's not what it sounds like. I mean, I if you're know. if you're offering up a number of value, that's serious business. That's not hey. We want to do some business, Charlo? That's a feeler, right? But what if, what if uh, he said, talk to me, tell me a number? And Eddie was sort of just, you know, just said a number in there. And then, like you said, then it's like, right, get it down officially and, right, and, and we'll okay. have a look at it. Eddie, you have Al Heyman's email. You have Tim Smith's email. You have all these people's emails. Send the email. You, you had the same issue with Deontay Wilder and the whole him just sending an email and saying, here's 50 million. Right, like yeah, remember that he said, send a term sheet or whatever, right? Exactly, right. Be, 
Ed, Eddie's whole crux of that issue was it, it wasn't official negotiating. And this is not official negotiating. If it's an a, a IGDM, hey, I'll, I'll, I'll give you $7 million to fight. I'll give you the Mike Garcia contract to come fight uh, Andrade. Andrade. And yeah. come on, email. You have everyone's email. Eddie. Yeah, I'm, all I'm saying is Eddie's saying he's not hearing back. He's not getting, well, send us this. Like Eddie said, all right. Is, I know you're saying he said Wilder. Uh, it's just an email from Wilder. And then he said, but let's see. Let's negotiate. I, and uh, Finkel said, no, you've got 24 hours to. Look, look, I'm not getting back into that. Thing. I'm not getting well, back. You brought it up. So. <laughs> but I'm, I brought it up in the idea that his crux was it wasn't official negotiating business. It wasn't official conduct. IGDMs are not multi-million dollar contracts. That's not how you make those. Okay. I think you're missing my point, but it's okay. And what is your point? I, maybe I don't understand. He, he initially reaching out and trying to get the attention of these fighters to make these fights. I'm sure if Charlo said, I'm interested, then official channels would open. That's all I'm saying. And that's fantastic. But maybe if you just send the official offer through the official channels first, we don't go through this whole fucking process. He sent it to the, his promoter. Lions only promotions. He sent it to Charlo via an IGDM. Yeah. He's talking Rob, Rob, to his own Rob, promoter. Rob, come on, man. Come on. You, you got to be a little bit objective here. Okay. I'm just, oh, look, I'm, I'm, I am being and look, objective. And, and, look, and look, I'm not assigning, I'm not assigning any blame unilaterally at all. I'm just stating, okay, Eddie, if you're sending an offer, you have been one on record talking about sending it through official channels. IGDMs are not official channels. Now, table that. You want to talk about Charlo not responding? Absolutely. I understand that criticism. But that's a separate issue. Because if Eddie came out and said, look, I've sent an email to Al Heyman. I've sent an email to Lions Only Promotions and their official LLC. I've sent all the official channels, and they're not replying to me. Then guess what? Eddie Hearn has all the um, all the ammunition in the world to go after PBC. But doing the exact same thing he once criticized is the wrong footing to start negotiating. I don't know how you can argue that or argue against that. Because I agree with you on the fact that if Charlo responded, there would be an email sent. I agree with you. But that is a false start to the negotiation already. If he just sent an official email, he would be on the right side immediately. Do you understand my point? Yeah, I get you, but I don't know why you're getting mad. At I'm not being not objective. I'm just saying in regards to uh, Eddie saying about it, an email coming from Wilder, he then asked for official, like, let's see the, the this, that, and the other. And that wasn't forthcoming. That's all I'm I, saying. I, I understand that. But that's also not what I'm fully talking about here. All right. Gary? Uh that's right. Like, like if you, it was it, a, a real offer would be sent to his email with his managers and handlers CC'd on it, so that everyone gets this and there's no confusion. When Matt sent me the offer, and it was big, it was about what Charlo got, you know, in that ballpark. He yeah. sent it to me. He didn't send it in a group text. He didn't send it on IG. He sent it to me. And like I said before, I, I, I wanted the, the offer, so I didn't push back and I accepted his terms. But again, those guys. Matt and Rob are apparently much bigger gunslingers and gamblers than I am. So, uh, I, no, an IG offer, like, Charlo could have said, yeah, set, let's get the paperwork rolling or something along those lines. But, I mean, if there was nothing sent to Charlo in an official capacity to him, it, you know, in his email, with his handlers knowing, then it's not it's not an offer. It's 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 a suggestion. It's, 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 it's a feeler. It's baiting. It's not... That's not a real offer. And and uh, look, Charlo should have called them out. If I was Charlo, I would say, let's let's make the fight. Because you're Charlo, you're seven million. If that's the Mikey offer, seven million. What did you think? What do you think he got for Hogan? One point five? Maybe, yeah. Uh, Maybe right. Like I, no. I was always saying that high because I don't understand the inflated person anymore. Two years ago, he would have got five hundred thousand for that fight, but I don't know what the prices are anymore. So I mean, this is five times that. Y yeah, let's. Let's get that going. Let, let's do that deal. And it's it, it's it's a legacy fight. It's a unification fight. It's a fight that puts you in the position to fight for Canelo or make you the star, and you get to pick your opponents moving forward. Like Charles should have went further, but I I don't think I'm with Matt and says that that's not uh, an IG DM is not a a real offer. 
Jack Willits in the chat, formerly known as Jay Willits, knows the name change. I like it. We're in the full name, Jack. But if uh, Charlotte would have said yes, would you still be criticizing? Yes. I think it would take longer to negotiate. You're adding an unnecessary step into the negotiation process by an IGDM. If your first step in the negotiation process is sending an email, like uh, Gary said, uh, to the fighter with his managers and promoters all CC'd, then you immediately start on the right footing. Okay, going through this route is an unnecessary route. Okay, and it's a route that is often used by promoters, Eddie, Oscar, Bob Arum, name them. Okay, it's often used to start a narrative, to create a narrative, to to create a talking point uh, via the media, via fans. And it often works. And I get it. It's a smart negotiation tactic. It adds leverage immediately to your side. Because you're going, look, I've sent out a text to this guy, to this trainer, to this manager, IGDM, whatever it is, and like we kind of discussed the fight, and they don't want it. They're not hitting me back. It immediately sets the tone for them to be defensive, whoever they are, whoever you're trying to negotiate with. And that is, that's just smart tactics. I get it, but I understand what that is. And that's what Eddie's trying to do here. He's trying to leverage negotiating just slightly in his camp's favor. And I think PBC and Charlo are doing a bad job of um, countering that tactic because their tactic is, like I said earlier, to scoff at it, to turn their nose up at it. And that's a real self-righteous way to go about it. And for fans and PR perspective, being self-righteous never works. Trust me, as somebody that is a self-righteous prick, you get a lot more hate than fans for it. You just do. Uh, Robbie, love um, I just, I, I just, I just think there's no issue with the Instagram thing. It's just like, just find out if you're wasting your time, like filling, like making an official official offer. I don't know what um, goes into sending an, an official offer. What an official offer looks like. Is official, it any offer, official offer would be a term sheet sent to manager, promoter, and fighter via email. Right. So, look, Charlo, want to make the Andre fight? I'm prepared to send you this. Interested? Or do you just send it and don't hear anything back? What's, he lost? What's he lost here? Nothing. He, look, it's not about losing, Rob. I think, I mean, as in like time, it's energy, not, space. it's not a zero sum, it's not a binary issue here. It's not about winning or losing here. I'm just stating that when promoters do this type of Public negotiation, it is purely that. It's public negotiation. If it was serious, there'd be an email. And it would have definitely Al Heyman copied on it and seven a DM, a social media DM. And promoters often do that. They often say, Oh, I sent a text to this person. Or, you know, I reached out here, sent feelers out here. Sorry, I cut you off. I apologize. Ah, it's, it's all right. It's all right. I don't think we're going to quite. Agree on this one, so we might as well move no, on. That's fine. You know, agree to disagree. Yeah. Um, to get upset about. I'm not. I'm not upset. I'm I mean, just, I didn't mean you. I just mean oh. it's just generally not. Oh no, it's not. And plus, like, it's a fight that's unfortunately probably not going to happen next. Well, no. If people don't answer their DMs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if people don't send official offers, then of course, like, <laughs> there's, no, there's no offer. There's no offer. There is. No, there's not. He just has to say, yeah, sure, send the term sheet. We're good. Motherfucker, send the send that should be your first step. <laughs> He's been and ev- every time promoters don't do that as their first step, it is fishy. Because Rob, you know this. The best negotiation is one that we don't hear about. <laughs> right? Like yeah. whenever, yeah. whenever it goes dark or quiet, that's usually the sign official channels are being followed, which are not public channels. Uh, and fights get made that way. Social media it Fights often don't get made through social media. It's a way to create public interest in fights, right? To get your tribe and your tribe against each other, get the flags up, get everyone waving, going about with the pom poms, saying, "Oh, my guy's going to beat your guy." Blah blah. He's ducking. Like it's a great way to do that, and that has value. But that's the value in that is not to get fights made. It's to get fights hype. Two very different things that promoters have to do. If he really wanted to make the fight, the contract would have been sent. 
electronically. Like as a stockbroker, we would send it while we're still on the phone. Like, okay, send me the paperwork. Open up your emails. You have it right now. Let's go over it together, right? Like if he really wanted the fight, it would have been set, right? Like open up your email and I'll walk you through everything. Is there anyone else you should get on the phone? Let's do it right now. Like what's tomorrow going to do? Right, tomorrow's just, you're just going to overthink it. Like, what are you going to wake up in the middle of the night and ask your wife, hey, baby, should I take the Andrade fight? No, let's, let's sit down. Let's look at it together. And if you have any questions, we can address it. But that was never done because so the fight wasn't really never serious. I'm not saying Eddie Hearn has no interest in the fight. I'm saying it's not, it, it wasn't a serious offer. I, I'll put this way. I guarantee you his first sent out or his first line of communication to Mikey to make the deal, like the final deal, right, to, to land that one. Was not an IG DM. Was not their DM. No, he slid in his DMs ages ago, man. Ages exactly, ago. ages ago. I yeah. guarantee you, he's already slid in Charlo's DMs. Yeah, he, they, they, he tried to sign in when Design started. Exactly, he's already been in those DMs. Does that work? Well, it worked for Mikey, so why wouldn't it work for Charlie? I don't think it worked for Mikey. <laughs> the original DM sliding worked. He's it, now it, got him on a fight on it, Design. It took him a year and a half. <laughs> All right. Look forward to that one. Yeah, that Charlie Charlo, twenty twenty one. Charlo and Rod, but same thing. Um.